Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. On deck, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Tennessee Titans. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thanks. We are across the Cumberland River from downtown Nashville at Nissan Stadium in Tennessee. The whole of downtown Nashville likely still reverberating with the sounds of the Titans taking the field a moment ago. They're ready for football as their Titans are set to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we take a look at this Titan ball club entering play. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visitors here, the Chiefs, they come in playing pretty well, 6-3 and three in their last nine games. And how about that defense last week? They pitched a shutout, and it's really more like a no-hitter because they absolutely dominated that game from the opening whistle. The shadows starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. That's fielded in the end zone, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Patrick Mahomes now in his third season in the league, leading the Chiefs onto the field. And, boy, when the Chiefs traded starting quarterback Alex Smith before 2018, a lot of people were wondering how good Patrick Mahomes could be, and he showed the entire league how good he could be, racking up over 5,000 yards and tied for second most passing touchdowns in a season with 50 of them. And he was handed the MVP and Offensive Player of the Year awards. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. This is the offense we're going to see coming up in this one, and Travis Kelsey will be key. What a tremendous weapon he is, especially in the red zone. Knows how to find the end zone when running his routes. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Mahomes to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Time for a look at our starters here on defense against the pass. Just numbers that they haven't liked. Number 30 in the league right now. And it's really difficult to prepare for this team. This is the number one overall passing team in the NFL. But it shouldn't be hard to get excited about playing against them. The ultimate test going against that unit. And that's why you and I are excited to broadcast this game. Yes, sir. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now are likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football, got to him, and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 22. Now a first time 1,000 yard rusher from a season ago, it's Derrick Henry. And he's gonna get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Off play action, Tannehill. And caught by Henry. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Derek Henry. 
And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. And the offensive starters for Tennessee. And this gives us a chance to talk about Corey Davis, a wide receiver out of Western Michigan, his rookie season in 2017. Not what he expected, nor what the Titans expected, mainly due to injury. But he's developing more and more as time goes on. He can be a big-time threat downfield. On second and nine, Tannehill. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Tannehill able to take off and pick up the first as well. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. A first down carry for Henry. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. Now look, that wasn't a huge game, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. And he'll get it down here to the 43. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. On second down, it's Henry. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. A shotgun handoff to Henry. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And down to the 19-yard line. First down, Titans gain of 12. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork, right? Open man is Davis. He's got it for the Tennessee touchdown. Corey Davis, his second touchdown on the season. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turning to his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Parkey adds the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And, you know, certainly a lot of football left to be played. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're first place in their division, looking good, looking to be a threat come January. And let's think about what every team has in their goals, all right? Number one goal is what? Make the playoffs. Number two goal is win your division. Number three goal, and the biggest goal, I think, is to be the highest seed possible that you can be heading into the play. Rush coming, and he's taking... against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit up with a screen soon. LaShawn McCoy, the 31-year-old running back, his first carry. And this Tennessee defense for the second straight play gets him behind the line. They're not messing around. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. He is going to find Hill here. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 
First catch there for Hill, and he's got a first down. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Mahomes now on first down. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. Mahomes going to pull it out and keep it himself. They complete it to Hill. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, his sixth touchdown of the season as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. And on this play, he just made a great route. The quarterback had to deliver it, sure, but a great route run there. And Brandon, this is what the best receivers do. They work on their route running because it's one thing to have athletic ability, but to really get open, you have to set up defensive backs with different routes and be precise in your cuts. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Out come the Titans now. And it's a unit last drive. They did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior. Big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. On first down, Henry. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. Let's go, Let's go. 7-7, our score after one. Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee, and it's the homestanding Titans in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Ready? Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. In on the tackle, Alex Okafor. So a look here at the key inactives, and we got this list before the game down on the field. And they tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level. That's when you know you've drafted well, scouted free agents well, and stocked your team just the way you're supposed to. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Give them 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, though, if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Running from the gun with Henry. Fighting him off. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 14. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Here's Tannehill. And he's got it. Instead of a third and one run, they go pass and they get 12 yards out of it. Well, partner, when you ask anyone other than your QB to throw the ball, you must have a lot of confidence or you think you're really going to fake them out. And it looks like they did exactly that. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Derrick Henry, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Titans have taken the lead.
And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? Now Parkey for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. This is taken at his four. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Chiefs offense and Tyreek Hill heading back out onto the field. And CD, assuming he stays healthy, assuming the health, should get to that 1,000-yard mark pretty easily. And the best part of what he's done so far is allows him and the team to relax their pursuit a little bit. Meaning, if they just have normal games, they'll get to the 1,000-yard mark. They don't have to force anything. But one of the reasons he's having the year he's having is what I call route-running arrogance. They think there's no one that can cover them. No matter how many people are put in, put in his direction, it just doesn't matter. He's going to find a way to beat them. And so far this year, he's done exactly that. He sure has. So after the run by McCoy, here's another first and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. It's for his running back, McCoy. Call it a gain of five. And that'll bring up second down. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back and maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Mahomes now nearly perfect. Nine of ten in this first half. It's first and ten. On the counter, here's McCoy. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. They try to quick hit her inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a creek. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Daquan Jones able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And that takes a start to have a good drive, quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And Old Mo is a very, very fickle man. He finds McCoy. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it will help them at contract time. And we spotlight Derrick Henry now. He's in his own second quarter, already closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that triple digits, that's all you're looking for. But he's got a chance to really exceed that in this one. Yeah, he does. That, that's been the gold standard for a long time, hasn't it, that 100-yard mark? It really has, and that never has to shift because it's in a game. It's a thousand yard mark. I'm wondering since we've gone from 12 to 14 to 16 games. Maybe we need to up that a little. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. First catch so far for the man who led the NFL coming into the weekend. He's got a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll run with Henry. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second and nine, Tannehill, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. And you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. 
A reminder once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business. But when this ball is tipped and intercepted, picked off by Bashad Braylon. Missed, missed. This will not go down. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's McCoy. It's a gain of nine yards. And it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now Mahomes. Over the middle complete. It's McCoy. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now a draw play. This is McCoy. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Second down and four. Mahomes, his pass caught at the four. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. We got this. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. They'll try and run it with McCoy. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. On second and goal, Mahomes looking end zone, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Watkins that time, but now it's third and goal. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. Blitz coming and down he goes. The sack by Harold Landry, the former Boston College Eagle. And that's the kind of stand all defenses are seeking. Third and goal, backs against the wall, and they get a monster sack, and now they're gonna force them into a field goal. For them, that's a win. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs' field goal. This is a 26-yard attempt. And Butker able to put this one through. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. Butker, what a pickup he's been for Kansas City the last two years. Remember, he was drafted by Carolina to be the eventual successor to Graham Gano. That didn't pan out. Casey got him as a free agent. He's been really good. Yeah, Gano said, oh, no, I'm keeping my job. But Butker found his home in Kansas City, a franchise record for points scored in his first two seasons. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And he's not going to go anywhere as they get him down behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. So we've reached halftime here. In we now proceed to the start of the second half. The Titans hold the lead and they'll get the football first as the third quarter gets underway. That'll be taken in the end zone. He's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. We take a look ahead at what's to come later tonight. Sunday night football, it'll be the Vikings and the Cowboys from AT&T Stadium in Arlington. And then tomorrow night, we've got the Seahawks and the Niners from Levi's Stadium. And we were in the Bay Area for the Raiders on Thursday night. Now right back out to watch the Niners on Monday night. 
Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Give him 14 on that one, and a first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Here's a quick throw out wide to Humphreys. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Throwing on second and 14. Tannehill, he'll get this one complete to Davis. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And he'll get this down to the 39-yard line. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 39-yard line. Now this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. So a pick six there out of the nickel package. They went with five DBs. Almost becoming the base package in the NFL is the nickel. Hard to throw against. That was demonstrated one more time. A pick six going the other way. Butker on for the PAT. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one, that didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. And it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. They keep it with Henry on first down. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. From just shy of midfield. Tannehill, this one caught by Davis. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 40. Tannehill now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping... Those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that. Taking it right down Broadway. Touchdown, Titans. Corey Davis, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Titans are going to retake the lead. I know we often laugh, and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. The second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. So the drive there took six plays, and the result in the end, a Titans touchdown. This fielded at the two. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. 
Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Now a play fake here on first down. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off at the 20. Kelsey, the intended receiver there. Well, there definitely was some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. Pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. From the 41, Tannehill steps away. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Emmanuel Agba credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. Third and long, it's Tannehill. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. A 46-yard boot, but just 36 following a pretty decent return of 10 yards. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll start the drive with a carry by McCoy. Where Sean Evans out of Alabama had the tackle defensively. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Throwing on second and eight, Mahomes. He was looking for his tight end, Kelsey, and it's third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. To throw, it's Mahomes. It's Hill, complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. Mahomes now five straight completions here in this second half. First and 10. From the shotgun, it's a give to McCoy. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Again, it's McCoy. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that'll lead here to a third down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Caught Kelsey, left side. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. 
Now Corey Davis and the rest of his offense getting ready for their next drive. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. Henry. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. This is Henry, and he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. That's a gain of four here in the fourth quarter with them leading by four on the scoreboard. On third down, Henry, and he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. On the counter, it's Henry. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. A loss of two there, second down. Play action, it's Tannehill. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 41-yard line. Tannehill now a perfect 8 for 8 to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. Now it's Henry. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And he'll be taken down at the 26. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. They'll run on first down. Dawkins. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Derrick Henry. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Titans are able to extend their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. The bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Parkey with the extra point, And that pushes the lead up to 11. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the 8. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not, He's not a team anymore. I just cut it. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But say, hey, listen, if something happened, there's going to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Here a throw taken in by Watkins. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Out of the shotgun, it's McCoy. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and eight. Tenth carry now for McCoy. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. 
Well, look at the clock. You're down two scores. You have to go for this, don't you? And they thought that as soon as they took over possession. It didn't matter where they were on the field. They were always going to be in four-down territory. Backed up in good situation. It didn't matter. So they've been preparing for that on their play sheet the entire time. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. LeSean Sims with the INT. And he'll actually lose about seven yards on the return, but they have possession of the football on a turnover. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 23. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Bashad Breeland, the one that got him down. Look at me, zipper! They'll run it again with Henry. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Again to Henry. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now a handoff to Henry. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 1.50 left in the football game. After the pickup of five, hey, here's it. second and five. Check, 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 check. Hey, alert three, alert three. They'll run the jet sweep with Brown. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Ready, ready. 30 base. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Give him 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one, despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. He's not going to get me. The Titans go victory formation down to a knee. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Tannehill to a knee, and that ought to be the final act of this ball game. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter,